And you've seen it on trending, you saw the title of this video, you saw whatever picture YouTube decided to use as the artificial thumbnail, so you know what we're talking about. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Let's roll this video. So it starts out, it shows you Hiccup and Toothless years from now, and they're looking pretty old, so it lets you know that not only do they both survive this movie, but they continue to be partners for a very long time, which is always good to know, especially since this is a kid's movie, even though watching the first two will get feelings out of you no matter how old you are. Don't deny that. Next thing the video, the trailer shows you is that they've built a paradise of sorts for the Vikings and the dragons to live together in harmony, which is kind of what they've been trying to do since the first movie, and I'm glad that they finally got that worked out. But it, it is a little hectic. It's kind of like Six Flags or Worlds of Fun on a Saturday afternoon. You know, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, which of course I am, I'm always honest with you, I was going to just download the trailer turn the footage around and re-upload it on my own channel, see how many views I got, but I, I hate channels that do that. Anyway, the next thing it shows you is that Hiccup Toothless, is his name, is not the only Night Fury left. There's actually a female, and I think she's called a Light Fury, if I'm not mistaken. And the next bit that you get to see is Toothless trying to chat her up. He's kind of bad with the ladies, a lot like me in a, in a couple of different ways. He does this, like, umbrella dance. It's really weird, but it's also kind of charming because, you know, it's still a kid's movie. You can't forget that. Let's see how many times I say that in this video. But after that, you meet the villain of the movie, and he's like, I've hunted every Night Fury except for yours. Give him to me. And Hiccup's like, nah, back up, man. You're not getting my dragon. And so he's like, well, then I'll be the bad guy and destroy your entire life then. And then the good guy, I don't even think he has an accent. I don't remember. But then Hiccup's like, we have to leave this place. We have to go to the hidden dragon world that they found earlier in the trailer that I did not mention. But that's probably where the hidden world part of the Santa comes from, so it's on you if you didn't figure that out. But from there, you can kind of estimate what you're going to get. I mean, it's a it's a DreamWorks film. Nothing too terribly bad is going to happen. You're going to get some feelings. You're going to have some laughs and cries, all that type of good stuff. And in the, at the end, the bad guy will lose, the good guy will win. But it's going to be a fun ride because we all love How to Train Your Dragon. There's just something about Jay Baruchel and I would say Gerard Butler, but unfortunately still had passed in the last film, so we're not going to really get to see him anymore. Maybe flashbacks, maybe dreams, who knows. But all in all, I'm expecting this to be a good film. I'm going to go see it. Not just for the purpose of reviewing it. It comes out March 1st next year. Definitely going to be on top of watching that. Uh, that's pretty much all I really had to say about that, though. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe. Share it around. Like I always say, uh, leave, it, leave it in the comments what you want me to talk about in the future. Uh, and roll. Roll, the, roll that thing that goes at the end of all my videos. I can't seem to remember what it's called. Squirrel, drop it.